Hello YouTubers, Stepano here again with another review. Um, I'm going to do the review on the Amprobe AM570 Industrial Multimeter. Um, I, I'm just, I got the little cheat sheet over here. I'm just going to go over some of the really cool features that this thing has. Um, it's an AC DC voltage is up to 1000 volts. Um, AC DC current, it does, that's it's up to 10, 10 amps. Um, resistance, it does uh capacitance frequency um temperature duty cycle uh low low z's to detect uh stray voltages it does um it has a low pass filter for variable speed drives which is the reason that i bought the thing for um let's see volt voltec which is um it has a a, um, a non-contact voltage uh, sensor so if you're like in a panel and you just want to check for voltage really quick, if you threw the switch and you you um, didn't want to put the probes on it right away, you could just um, turn it to the, um, the 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 setting on the meter and actually detect voltage in the air, kind of like one of those volt sticks. Okay, um, let me see. Oyable continuity diode tester. All right, it um, it has the the backlight LED light. Um, with the little bar graph that goes across, it's pretty cool. Um, it, it does data hold. It does a um, let me see peak hold. Um, it has a built-in flashlight. Um, it uh, warns against improper Tesla connection. Um, auto manual rate ranging, power on and off. So after a couple of minutes, it'll turn itself off, which is pretty cool. Um, a battery warning, uh, low battery warning. Uh, and it's a, a a cat 4 600 and it's a cat 3 if you in, into the thousand volts okay so enough of the, that stuff over there let's do all the cool stuff like look at it okay first of all it's an amp probe amp probe has been in business for like ever okay um just recently over the past couple of years um a fluke has acquired amp probe so um it's it's actually a part of it's still made by its own company, but it's backed up by uh, Fluke, so it's pretty cool. So first of all, I'll show you some of the accessories. It comes with two K-type thermocouplers. Um, it does do two at the same time. Now you see, it can just like take the probes and I put them in here, and then this fits into the uh, connectors on my multimeter. Um, why would you need that? Well, you can actually take one temperature and another temperature and compare them. So if you have um, a temperature in this area and this area, you can compare the temperatures and come up with an accurate reading. So that's pretty cool stuff. Alrighty. Um, this comes with pretty nice uh, probes. They're pretty nice. Um, they're, they're not click open ones like uh, Fluke has that you can click them open and close uh, safety feature. These have the pullovers, but I tend to take them off because they always seem to get in my way. But um, all, all in all, that, that's that's uh, what we got here. So um, I'll get into a little bit of tech. When I was looking for this meter, I didn't really see any anything on the internet that really told me what I wanted and why you know why I should get this. Now when it took, when it goes into the uh, low pass filter. Right for checking, um, when you're checking a variable speed drive, you put it into onto its voltage setting on AC, and then you put it into it'll say actually low there. You see it? So you take that and you you put put it on, and then you actually click on this once, and then over here is the symbol for low for the low pass filter. And now yes, in this corner here, we'll show the frequency. And here we'll show the voltage. This is one of the things that I wanted to know when I was looking for this meter. Okay, so I hope that helps you out. AC DC. So I mean, you know, uh, you're going to be dealing with um, AC and DC in a drive. If you actually, I was just um, fixing a drive today, and it, this came in very, very handy. Okay, so then it just got all the typical other stuff, you know, hertz and. All that stuff that you know your regular continuity uh, capacitance and all that good stuff so um, one of the cool things I like is that it has the 
the backlight. You're in a darker spot, you can see. Then you have another cool feature, the flashlight. You know, it's a little simple things that make it happy. Nice construction on this. Um, very lightweight. Something that you, you know, you don't mind carrying around. If you have to hold this and really get into stuff, it's, it's you know, something that you can, you can hang there for a little bit. Now, the way they did this is that you got, can actually have like a third hand. So you can take your probes and it holds it in the back over here on these holders. Right? And they're also a place for storage. But I tend to um, take my probes and I put them around like this. Because if you kink here... Those are the two kink points, kinking here and kinking here. When you do that, you'll ruin your probes. So I tend to either take them off completely and wrap them or, you know, something of that nature. So, very, very easy setup on these. Um, you would use, you know, if you're looking at this for the first time, down over here you would use these two for your main testing and all. It shows you what to do. If you're using amperage, you would go from here to here. And if you're using milliamps or ultra amps, you'll use here. So that's where, you know, you like really small circuit boards and stuff like that. So for the most part, I, I don't get into that. Let's see. That's a 400K also. 400K ohm. So you can uh, test really super low. So um, it's got uh, this is very comparable to your uh, Fluke 87B. You know, if, I mean, if you if you're looking for the features of, of the 87V, this would be a, a good alternative to that money-wise. Um, it, it's a little bit. This one's lighter. Then the 87V, um, if, if I were, I was comparing this actually with the, um, with the Fluke 117, and uh, I chose this one. Um, th this has a little bit more features that I was interested in, and for a considerably low pi lower price, um, backed up by the, the, the Fluke integrity tests. So this is, you know, a, a, a pretty decent meat for the money. Um, the only the only two things that, that it doesn't uh, well it doesn't it doesn't have um, phase rotation that would make this the only meter you would ever need is if you had phase rotation on this and um, it doesn't have it and uh, the only thing that I that, that I noticed is that the battery that was in here had already gone dead after a month so I don't know if it's one of those things that the you know, something weird happened and the battery went dead. Maybe it was in storage a little bit too long or whatever. Or maybe just the battery was just had bad cells in it. But I put a brand new battery in it. And I'm going to see. You know, I'm going to go through the same torture it goes through every single day for a month. And if my bat door cell battery still holds up, then it's, you know, it's just one of those things where the battery just wasn't as good as what it was supposed to be. So... That was, it kind of disappointed me today. That was the only thing, though. Uh, that was the only thing that I see wrong with this, so that's really nothing. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions about this meter, you know, feel free to comment below. Um, if, if you're not subscribed to my site and you want to see more of what I'm reviewing, you go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to be putting out some more videos as, as I get tools. I review them, I'll put them up on here and you get to see them. And these are tools that I use. So their personal preferences, um, you know, maybe you want to know. And uh, don't forget to thumbs me up. So you guys take care, keep it cool, and we'll see you later.